Kiss and Rob is actually uh, it's pretty da it's pretty damn good. That being said, I mean Grayson is almost like leagues above most of the Robs in like the area. To be honest with you, some yeah. of them baiting even better than Sassy. To be honest with you, which is strange to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't remember the last time I lost to Sassy, but last couple times I played Grayson, I've lost. Yeah, Grace is a uh, Grace is nobody to sleep on, man. My man's absolutely ridiculous in this game. Yep. Well, let's see if he's ridiculous enough to stop Isman from continuing more in the bracket. This is gonna be, I believe, a winner's quarters match. Yeah. All right. So start off at the beginning. Going to Pokemon Stadium. Uh, this is gonna be a good stage for Rob. He's got a lot of distance to get away from Wario. Yeah. And um, of course, you know, all of our local Robs have more than enough cheese, enough people on the stage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This might be a stage I would want to ban against Rob. I just uh, doesn't Stadium Two also have a low ceiling? Um, I don't think it has a low. I think it has the average ceiling and like technically average uh, blast off on the side too. Okay. But due to the fact that the stage is so big, actually, it kind of like kind of bounces it. Yeah. So it ends up being like a, almost like a. It almost feels like a, a Kalos level blast zone, but in reality, it's actually just normal blast zone. Okay. He has him in the corner and thus far, Grayson has been going off on my man. Up tilt in the oh, up air. Nice. That's hard to get around. It is really hard to get around. Like mashing, you wanna do, and then they're like, okay, I caught the match. And then sometimes you don't mash and then they just unsmash you for yeah, it. It's it's pretty scary. It's a pretty good tool. But uh yeah, looking like this far, I mean Grayson kind of proved my point. Might be one of the best Rob in Texas, actually. If not the best Rob in Texas. Yeah. Doing a good job with all this pressure. Oh. Ooh. Oh, falling up here so cool. I miss it. Yeah, falling up here can lead to also many things as well. <laughs> yeah. Granted, I don't think Womp is going to be a problem just quite yet, but the way Ismael is playing, you actually might just go ahead and reset the stock and pretty much uh, not that much damage has happened to him. He's at 95% versus 23. Yeah, that's, uh, that's always frustrating when you get a giant lead and then you just watch it slowly disappear. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get zero to death right back. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Ismon's pretty competent with the gyro. Has an idea how to get around it. It's hard. It's it's actually pretty hard to like pick up the gyro if you don't know what you're doing. Oh yeah, if you don't know how to pick up the gyro, it becomes the worst thing in the world. Down air is gonna be taking it. Ismon is up at 80 percent, but this character also does have a very unique combo game too. He might be able to bring it back. And yeah. I don't know if Walt's on deck yet, but I mean, if he does get it, then oh, I mean that's safe. Yeah. Cool. The second hit in there, you just can't punish it? Uh, the second hit, I don't know if you can punish it or not, but Rob also doesn't have, like, the, the super best out of shield off as well. Yeah. Ooh, what? It beat get up attack? Yeah, get up attack is, like, fraudulent on that thing. It's it's so weird. Like, it works, and then it doesn't work. Weird. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice escape to the skies. Yeah. Almost like a, the snake type oh. attack. I'm pretty sure he does have Waffle on deck, too. Yeah. So if he does get, like, an up tilt, we might be seeing it just well spent. Oh, nice drop. Oh, oh that's that it. Be it. Yeah, it's yeah. not smash right now. Don't have enough time. All right, now it's down to a, a little bit of the wire for uh, Ismon. Can he somehow make a clutch out, uh, come back on the set? Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh, he just, oh, there it is. Anyway. Okay, yeah, spends the money, spends the dime. He's like, I don't need Walk for the next stock. I'm going to use it to clutch it out and bring it down to the last stock. Yeah. A lot of people have always uh, said that too. Like when you're playing three stocks against Wario, you're actually just playing two stocks against Wario. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, look oh. at this damage. Okay, almost gets a reset too. Down there. Oh Does it have a spike? Uh, I think on any of his hitboxes. He's got him in the corner. Oh. Up air, anti airs. And despite Ooh. Grayson, you know, oh. going crazy earlier, it looks like Ismon has got a good read and figured out everything to do. Yeah, he figured it out real fast. Figuring figuring out a, a a player when you're in a deficit is really hard to do, but he did it. Yeah, especially since he had Walt on the side too. Ooh. I feel like that changed momentum up dr dramatically. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Not gonna hit it. All right. But it's still not out the. Uh, he's still not out of the realm of making this comeback oh. yet. And as soon as I say that, Ismon closing out the stock from back here. Good stuff to Ismon making what was a uh, a very hard little comeback. It seemed like. Yeah. Yeah, pretty big deficit. Didn't matter though, he got the fart, got it back to uh, even, and then just kind of blew Grayson up a little bit. And Grayson, um, I said before, he's going to be high on our PR, but I mean, 
Sometimes rankings don't matter. Uh, well, actually, speaking of rankings, Ismon is on our actual Texas PR, actually. Mm-hmm. So he's not like a, you know, this is not like a bad competitor whatsoever. He has lost to some of our, the, uh, the, the inhabitants of DFW, but don't get it mistaken. My man's definitely a talented person. Yeah. Yeah, stop Kaze earlier from, uh, of course, making, I guess, the quote-unquote upset. I know. I thought Kaze had it. Same same situation. That's Rob just had that clutch in him. Oh, big damage from... Oh, wow. Jumps out. Yeah, Rob doesn't actually get that many combos. He just gets a mix up after it. Yeah. So, if you have the... Uh, and if you know the matchup very well, you won't get hit with that mix up. And it's Maul, as I said before, mains his character. Has has a character in a pocket in some way. Wow, Ismon's movement on those platforms is looking pretty nice. I love the paybacks he's doing too with these fares and then these uh, up airs as well. Yeah, Ismon will do like these fares and then kind of drift in and try to get the up air. And it's been working. Oh, oh okay. Fares his own bike, but does not get the big punch on it. And once again, uh, Grayson does actually have a good lead right now. Uh oh. Down throw, up air. Doesn't wait for the air dodge this time, and just hits the up air this time. The DI was on point, it seemed like, but not good enough. I don't know. Sometimes you, it's so hard to tell which way you're going to go on that move. Yeah. Like, the, I've had times where I live it at, like, 120, and then I'll just, like, hold the wrong direction when I'm at 70 and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Rob is kind of still playing Smash 4 out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to... Uh, one thing I really like about games that are fast, like Melee and Ultimate, is... You have to be very reactive with your DI. You have to correct DI. Correct DI in Smash 4 and Brawl was just like, oh yeah, it's so easy. Everything's so slow. Yeah, and then this game is a lot more, uh, you have to be on point, it seems like. Yeah, you have to be ready. One one small mistake can cost you. Uh-oh, got it again. Here again, and he's got the stock advantage. He's got wow, uh, two stocks is, uh, now, yeah. This is very different. This is a good retaliation from uh, DFW's own robot. Yeah. Getting hit with another back air. But I mean, none of them are taking a stock quite yet. And I'm sure Grayson, when he's got momentum, oh! is like the worst player in the world to fight. I used to say that about Cheeks a whole bunch, but like, oh, man, yeah. Grayson. Oh. It's like Cheeks and then Grayson have this incredible momentum. Yeah, and they play the characters that officially that uh, work fantastic on the back air, not taking a stock quite yet, still. Oh, where am I going to go? And that nail was so good and it covered um it covered the range of which he would have got like probably assaulted and also just grabbed the ledge immediately. But Dash Attack gonna be taking that stock. He's got a long way to go, but never count a Wario out until he's actually just dead. Yeah. Okay, gets a side B. Mm, get that one percent. <laughs> what if Wario still had the tires from from back in the day from Brawl? I don't think anybody wants that. <laughs> oh. Work. Oh. Okay, all right. That was a really good mix-up from Grayson, though. He used the oh, giant. Oh, he might die. Okay, no, no, no. Almost. Yeah, I think at this point, he's got to commit it to keep the full wall. Because if you got to make the comeback, it's got to be the wall has to be used in the last stock. Oh. oh Trying to get the parry. right now. Oh, my God. Look at that ledge. That's disgusting. There's a bike, a gyro, a robot. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, the tombstone going to get the WWE Championship. But first, he has to go to Ismael to get it. Yeah. Taking the game two, and we're going to a hot game three, Houston versus DFW. Yep. Two great players um, taking games back to back. Mm -hmm. First game looked pretty clean from Ismael. Grayson really cleaned up game two. Yeah, he cleaned that up pretty well. I mean, like, it seemed like he was just like, okay, I just got came back on. And, I mean, if you have that mentality, if you have that mindset, like, you know what, I just dropped game one, then, I mean, that's a very good instance going to game two, and it seemed like Grayson made the proper adjustments. Oh, he definitely did. But it is it is always super scary to lose game one. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I can't make any mistakes now. Yeah. Because you, if you have that game to lay back on, it's, it's very good. It's very nice. Yeah, it is. You... You get your own counter pick. It's like, okay, I'll lose on your counter pick. I don't care. Okay, I was, I, I was actually wondering if we were going to see the Falco from him because I believe this matchup is actually not that great for Rob. You know, he's got the reflector, a really good reflector. He's He jumps really high. Uh, pretty long recovery. Uh, yeah, look at this. He's just like, oh, I got t I'm taking you to town. I got a ton of room. 
And the combo game is also really good too. Ooh, I like that up tilt. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh my, oh my god. god. I okay, thought okay. I was the only one that could do that. <laughs> no. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> everybody with frame three down tilts. Yeah, Ugh. it's gross. Ugh, it's nasty. It's not yeah. right. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, not getting the DI mix up though. And just the two added shots, putting on the percentages. This character is incredibly annoying. I've been in the chat with uh, a lot of the uh, Robs, and they all equally just hate Falco. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that landing hit of the fair. Super safe. And this, once again, this character does not have the best out of shit off, so he kind of has to hold all this pressure. Ooh, oh, nice. Is he up? dead? No, no, he's not quite dead yet, but if he does eat another up air on the back oh. air, we'll be able to finish the stock. Yeah. All right, let's see if Grayson can potentially make this comeback. He he has to adjust to the Wario, and the thing about switching characters is that you already know how they're going to play. When you switch a different character, they don't know how you're going to play at all. Yeah. So big, uh, big advantage. Oh, oh my goodness God. gracious! The gyro extension really made that work too, and the reverse up airs. Once again, this character is very frustrating to deal with if you don't have a good out of shield option. Yeah. Uh oh. And the fact that he's a big body too means he just absorbs all these combos. Yep. Oh, oh no. Goodness gracious. Yeah, he just it's looking hard to use that gyro. This looks like a good counter pick right now. Oh, Ooh. okay. Both those guys air dodging, not wanting to deal with one another. This is a shield grab. I guess his grab range is a little bit terrible. Ooh. Oh, oh, off stage. Oh, oh, okay, good tech. Oh, oh that I landing, that fair hit box. Oh, that God. white body fair, man. This is looking rough. This is looking incredibly rough for Grayson. I don't know if he's going to be able to make this comeback, wow. but that Nair <laughs> is going to be the first out of it all. Parts on him on the ledge. Uh oh, damage. Good damage. Okay, try to get the up tilt on him. And using that gyro out of shield, that's actually a smart maneuver. Yeah, just big character getting hit by all these hitboxes. Oh, man. Side beat just put himself back on stage, too. I don't want to deal with any type of mix you have. Oh, Falco actually looks kind of cool in this game. Yeah, Falco looks like a lot of things. Yeah. Ah. Okay, normal gets up. Hey, he's throwing all these buttons. He's trying to catch Falco preemptively. Oh, but the no. The problem is that, like... Oh, God, this like, looks brutal. This is actually very, very rough. All he needs is one good. If he gets a good, uh, good part of the back here, that might be it for Grayson. Yeah, it's a, it'll be over if he gets. Oh, very, very difficult. Trying to land, almost gets us smash for troubles, and the back here will be closing out the game. Grayson losing to Isman. Isman will be going to winner semis, while Grayson will be taking a trip towards loser. Yeah, unfortunate. I think Grayson was. Probably feeling pretty confident after that uh, game two, but mm -hmm. that Falco switch, what a good switch. Yeah.